Good morning, everybody. We're here in front of McCollum Says Hardware in Marysville, Ohio. Uh, today, a nice cold morning, and a lot of people have some snow and ice on the ground. We thought we'd kind of go through salt, ice melters, uh, and tell you how to properly um, dispose of the ice on your own driveway at your house. Uh, there's always salt that's been around for years. Um, salt is used for uh, temperatures above 20 degrees. It works fairly well. But when you get colder temperatures like the single digits we had this morning, then you have a problem with salt not working very well. We have blends. This is uh, potassium chloride as well as salt. Um, and it is very effective in temperatures down to 10 degrees below zero. So it really is a good choice for today. Um, they have a melting agent that they add to a similar formula uh, called MG104. And in the safe step, um, this will actually help not only to melt a little better, but also to keep it from refreezing. Then we go to magnesium chloride products, um, which I guess I, that's magnesium plus salt, I said potassium. It's magnesium chloride. When you go to full magnesium chloride, you can get down to 15 degrees below zero, so you can get a slightly colder temperature melt. The best thing to use if you have brand new concrete would be calcium chloride. Calcium chloride will not harm concrete if it's used properly, and John's going to show us that in a minute. How do you spread these properly? But this is an excellent product for use on new concrete, a little more expensive than the blends. And finally, if you have a pet that you're trying to protect, um, there is a pet safe formula. Um, and this particular formula will not harm the dogs if they lick their paws and so forth. So now that you know what items you can choose, it's very important to know how to spread the salt so you don't damage your blacktop or your sidewalk. And John's going to show us that. There's basically three types of applications. All, all of these over here that Dan showed you before have the shaker top, which is this variety. Um, the other two, your regular fertilizer spreader you have at home, you can use it. Or we do have a regular spreader for the ice melt. Um, application on this guy, um, the one thing you do not want to do you do not want to pick a particular spot and just pour it out in a pile. That is not what you want to do. You want to give the salt grains uh, area to spread out. That way that when it melts, the residue runs out and it will continue melting. Like this, it stays in one place, doesn't spread out, and you can damage the concrete. What you want to do effectively is just spread it evenly so it will spread out and disperse. That's that application. Uh, the big difference between these two products, the regular fertilizer has an agitator in it. It will spread the salt. It does an effective job. Um, the better product is one specifically for the ice melter. It has an auger type agitator in it, which actually spins and pulls the salt down and spreads it more evenly. And we'll demonstrate that for you guys too. You just want a good even spread. I don't know how well that's going out, but it's just uniformly dispersed. So thank you for joining us today. Hopefully this helps you a little bit in deciding how to get rid of the ice in your own driveway.